welcome to this presentation by the Concordia Bible Institute. The purpose of the Concordia Bible Institute is to show Christ in every word of Scripture. It's our prayer that you will be educated and edified by this presentation. We encourage you to share this presentation with friends and associates. We want the message of the Concordia Bible Institute to be distributed widely. At the same time, if you're watching this presentation on physical media, such as a DVD, we ask that you don't copy the DVD, but distribute it, send it, share it with somebody else. And of course, the usual disclaimers apply. The views of the presenters do not necessarily reflect the views of the Concordia Bible Institute. We bow our heads and begin with a short prayer. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we thank and we praise you for all the blessings which without any merit on our part you have showered upon us in your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. You have given us the gift of life, you have given us health and strength and you really have given us all that pertains to life in this world and also then, even more importantly, to godliness. We ask that you would help us to live our lives in accordance with this good news, the good news of the forgiveness of our sins through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Help us in our words and our deeds and our thoughts to glorify your name and help us to show compassion for our fellow man. We ask that you would send your Holy Spirit to guide and lead us in the presentation, in the questions and answers, in all of our deliberations, that we would do them all to your glory and to the extension of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. So, uh, this, um, this man was sitting inside his air-conditioned home watching TV. His wife was outside during the heat of the day cutting the lawn. Well, finally the guy worked up enough energy to get out of his chair to go outside and to call to his wife, what are we going to have for supper? Well, you can imagine that she was not at all happy uh, to hear her husband, who had been sitting in this air-conditioned room watching TV, to ask her what we're having for supper. She said, I'm sorry about that. Why don't you just go in? Why don't you, uh, in fact, think of me as being out of town and get some food for yourself? Well, okay, he went in, thought a while, and he got out a steak, and he fried that, he made some potatoes for himself, and he set up a real good meal, had some iced tea, and when he was just about finished with it, his wife walked in, and she said, well, I see you've gotten yourself some food, where is mine? He said, I thought you were out of town. <laughs> That's pretty much like a man. Um, <laughs> I do have some why questions also, and maybe some of you can answer them. But uh, uh, this one, for instance, why are there no father-in-law jokes? Just, it, it, it's not funny, it's just something that I'd like you to consider. Are there any, and why aren't there? That's number one. Uh, number two is, uh, I think, even more important. Why doesn't Tarzan have a beard? <laughs> I mean, he's been out there for years, wouldn't you think? <laughs> I mean, it's just, uh, it's just a question. It's not an important uh, question, but... Uh, <laughs> another one. Uh, these are things that just uh, pop up and you need to have answers to them, but if you eat pasta and antipasta, are you still hungry? <laughs> Does one cancel out the other? You know, it's that kind of thing. Uh, I need, however, there are a few new faces here, and I'd like to get 
each of you to introduce yourself real quickly. You, you tell where you're from and uh, what congregation and uh, one little factoid about yourself. And we'll just go around just to be sure that we get acquainted with one another and uh, you can become more acquainted at the breaks. We'll take a break at about a little before four maybe and uh, then about five o'clock also. But we'll start right here. Would you just tell us where you're from? You know, you're Carolyn Blum, Divine Savior Lutheran Church, Hartford. Um, I ride a thousand miles a year on my bicycle. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Haven't started yet this year. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Go ahead. Brenda Jordan, uh, Hartford, Divine Savior. Uh, I, I like to walk. I walk three miles a day or ride the bike eight. Eight? Yes. Good. Kind of humbles the rest of us. <laughs> Could we come up with somebody who's not doesn't exercise? Just <laughs> offset that. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Brian Punk, Hartford Divine Savior Lutheran, and I, I have a dog that loves to walk, so it's good for the owner too. About three miles an hour or four. Oh, really? Okay. Wayne Calver from Divine Savior. Um, <laughs> <that's> interesting. <laughs> Well, go new, new granddaughter. I have a new great grandson oh, just born wow. last week. Oh, Dale Hoppy, Divine Savior in Hartford, and I watched Verna walk back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, my name is Jan Brooks. I'm from Menominee Falls. Uh, let's see. I just got back from Israel and I saw David, I walked on David's palace's ruins. Oh, oh wonderful. And I never walked so much in all my life as that week. Oh. <laughs> you got, got a lot of walk. walkers here. <laughs> Jerry Berkey from Blessed Savior, New Berlin, and um, I work a couple days a week for my grandsons in a heat treating business and spend the rest of my time volunteering. Oh, very good. Okay. My name's Carl Oldman. I'm from Trinity Freistadt. And I don't walk much. I should really walk more. But I'm the state chaplain with the American Legion. So I travel a lot. Yeah. Tom Warnick from St. John's Glendale. Uh, don't walk a lot. I drive truck. <laughs> okay, we'll start back up here. Uh, Mert Traeger from uh, Germantown. We go to church at Peace Lutheran in uh, New Berlin. And uh, I'm Star's business manager. <laughs> okay, Star. <laughs> um, I'm from Peace Lutheran, too, live in Germantown. And uh, we run a small business, uh, marriage and family therapy. I'm a marriage and family therapist, and so Merton takes care of all the book work. <laughs> Our <can't> either. <laughs> he pays too good. <laughs> all right. Divine Savior in Hartford. I walk my dog every day, too. <laughs> <laughs> and I like to crochet. Oh. Very good. I'm Paul Butenoff from uh, Divine Savior in Hartford, and uh, I like to fix things. I do a lot of the fix-it-type stuff around church. Yay. And I love the outdoors. Well, you have to have someone like that, too, at church. Do you have a lot of grounds there? Sure. Tell them about your maple syrup. Oh. I made maple syrup too. <laughs> <laughs> you got trees? Yeah. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Yes.